Hi, I'm Kelly Berger from Bookkeeper Support, and I'm just going to run through how to balance the ATO ICA account, your integrated client account from the ATO um, in your software. Okay, so if we have a look here, you've got all your, your debits for your, when you lodge your mass. Okay, so you can see that all that there. And then you've got your balance. That's your total balance there. Now, um, what you need to do is flip it around in the other, so in the software. So I'm just going to share that screen with you so that you can see what happens. So as you can see, the bass is now in the credit section, right? So you're treating it like a credit card. It's a liability. So you've got to flip it around. So your debits are now credits. Your credits are now debits compared to what the ATL ICA account says. So your cash flow boosts and those kind of things, your payments to the ATO, they come in as into the system as a debit, right? But your ATO liability is a credit, okay? So you've got to flip it around and make sure that the balance matches down here, okay? So 16959. If we go back to our original tax office, 16959. Okay. Now, if we look at the balance sheet for that, we've got 16959, which is what's currently outstanding with the ATO. So that's what our balance sheet should look like. Okay. See how GST collected? Same thing. We owe that to the ATO. So therefore, it doesn't have a minus sign in front of it. But what we've paid to the ATO does have a minus sign in front of it. So that's our liability section. Okay, so understanding that that has to match, that section right there has to match your what is it currently outstanding for your ATO ICA account. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, please do get in contact at admin at bookkeepersupport.com.au.